Our first question is from Nicholas Wells. Is there an optimal body fat percentage for building muscle? 11.23%. That is the percentage. Uh, Kind of an interesting question. It Um, is. You know, I can tell you that I don't think there's going to be a number specific from person to person, but I can say this, that being too lean uh, has been shown to inhibit muscle growth um, and being too over fat can do the same thing. Part of it has to do with the hormonal effects. For example, when men start to get into the single digit body fat percentages, you tend to see testosterone levels dropping. You tend to see growth hormone levels sometimes having issues. Um, Androgen receptor density starts to go down a little bit. When their body fat percentage is too high, same thing. So, okay, what are those numbers? Personally, for me, my best like muscle building body fat percentage tends to be above 10% and below maybe 14%. When I go above 14%, I start to get kind of negative returns where I'm just gaining more body fat than muscle. Under 10%, really hard for me to build muscle and maintain that lean body fat percentage unless I'm allowing my body fat percentage to go up. Yeah, that, I was going to say that it, this depends, right, on how we're talking about this because the most anabolic I have ever felt is – after cutting down to three percent and then going back the other direction, yeah, but you're letting your body fat climb, right? Up with so I mean, but, but imagine uh, maintaining. Is there an optimal body fat percentage for building muscle? Mm-hmm. Like, oh yeah. So if I was trying not to be big, more body fat than three percent, then yeah, you're yeah, right. It. But if I cut all the way down to three percent and then I reversed into a bulk from there, mm-hmm. and just say I'm not worried about it going, and, and honestly, this is how I would do it after a show, and I would get down to that kind of three percent range or so give or take, I would allow myself to go all the way back up to about nine, ten percent. Mm. And I was like I was on the gain train all yes. the way until I started to see myself reaching that nine percent or so and then I would back off because I would say somewhere in that nine percent range I felt the most primed for for building muscle. Yeah. So but uh you know again I think there's t- tremendous value in Cutting down and getting lean, and then reversing. Now, the maybe other not as extreme as you did it, right? Because I want to be. I also want to caution the audience yeah, it's not for a health. bunch of dudes that are like, "Oh, I got to get down to three percent uh, before right. I," because no. that is a, a whole getting below. I'd say eight percent body fat for the average guy. There's a whole different ball game. You get below five percent body fat, and you're playing now in a whole nother universe in terms of how you feel, hormones, how they respond, your sleep. It's not. Great. Um, so yeah, don't don't cut down to three percent to try to reverse out. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm not. Number. I'm by no means. This is not a uh, recommend. Obviously, this is not a uh, overall health uh, right. type of a question. Yeah. This is you know where do I feel that the optimal body fat percentage is, and I don't know. I, I don't know if there's an exact it's, percentage or it's more about wh- where you are in your training and yeah, what you're. I think more doing. of that. Like I was thinking, I'm trying to speculate. Even I've had clients that came in way overweight and uh you know just just maintaining whatever calorie amount they're at but now adding in resistance training had a dramatic shift uh you know in terms of like them and their potential for building muscle but uh, yeah. it makes a good point in terms of like being at, you know at your leanest and now introducing maybe you're a little more sensitive to those calories and, and sort of reprioritizing right. those yeah. calories into muscle building so yeah, i feel like you're primed to be anabolic because yeah. your body is wanting to add and then I, you feed it the way you want yeah. but to your point about and i think you're probably you're probably more right on where this 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 question is coming from because i get a lot of people who are somewhere between uh, 13 and 20% body fat and their question is should i cut first or should i bulk and the answer for me is if you're north of 15%, the the I think you mentioned this, right? Yeah. That you, that's where your, your your testosterone levels tend to dip after that. Definitely after 20%, you start to notice this. They say after 15. Yeah, yeah. at 15 you'll see it, definitely after 20. Yeah. In women, it's like 30. So right? in that case, if you're somebody who's just getting started on your teen and you're like, okay, I'm 18, 19% body fat, is, is it more advantageous for me to try and bulk and build muscle from here or is it better for me to lean down a little bit than more? I would probably suggest leaning out a little bit. Yeah. It depends on their metabolism. Yeah, exactly. I, right. That That's the big thing is that if I get you, say you're at 18 to 20% body fat, but you're, you're and you're, okay, let's say, a, let's use a, a male since I think this is a guy who's asking this question. So let's say you're, 220 pounds, 19% body fat, and you want to know what you should do here. But you're only eating, okay, this yeah, 220 pounds. Calories are low. Yeah, 2,000 to 2,200 calories. I don't want to cut you. Yeah. yeah. I, don't want, I don't want you to lean out right now. I want to build. So even though 
you, it might be more advantageous to be 13% body fat trying to build muscle because your, your, your body is in a better position to build more muscle. Your metabolism isn't the, in the most optimal position, and I care about that first before I try and attack yeah, the, now the next all, Now, equation, all things being equal, because I think what you're, if you're, obviously, if you're watching this, you realize that there's a lot of context. There's a lot of context that matters. And it depends on the individual. And I know people hate it when that when we answer that way, but that's just the way it is whenever you're working with individuals. You have to look at the whole picture. But all things being equal, okay? Everything's healthy. They're not a newbie with resistance training necessarily. So forget the stimulus. The workout's good, good sleep. All things being equal, I think I could say probably for men, maybe 9 to 15% is probably a good body fat percentage for building muscle. And for women, it's probably... And probably 20 to maybe 27% or something like that. I think for women, when you start to go below 20% and the leaner you get, then you start to see some kind of negative effects on hormones. And with men, that can happen after going below 9% and, and then going above 15%. Remember, fat is also hormone sensitive and it can increase the the or the way that your body responds to estrogen. It can cause you know increased cytokines are inflammatory markers right, yeah. and too much of it's not good not enough of it's not good exactly so you know nine to 15 and then and now what determines if it's nine or 15 well genetics probably right so like adam and i tend to be more on the ectomorph side being leaner was easier for me than being heavy so i'm like you around 10 11 percent you know it's probably a good body fat percentage on the high end maybe 14 percent justin might be a little higher he's a little bit more on the endomorph side, right? Husky. So ro ro robust, husky. Yeah. yeah so husky. <laughs> so, and, but you gain. <laughs> yeah. Come up with a good descriptor. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Think of it this way: if I nine percent for me, I could build really well. I husky bet for bad. you, you probably wouldn't feel very good walking around nine yeah, percent no, the same I'd way. Feel terrible. I'd feel like death. Right. <laughs> so th th there's a bit of a range here, but the key is not too low, not too high, is probably best. So ultimately, what does this mean? Healthy. Yeah. That's really what it boils down well, to. Well, and that's why the yeah, answer that I gave range, is yeah. that we in let we need to get you in a healthy place metabolism wise before I'm even concerned about building muscle or burning fat. Right. So regardless of what body fat percentage you're at, uh in, in the range you gave, I think is a very fair generic range that yeah. I think is true. Uh, but just because you're outside of that range doesn't necessarily mean I, I would want you to cut first, if, depending on what Justin was talking about, your calorie intake. Right. If you are a 220-pound man and you're only eating 2,000 calories. Yeah, I don't care what uh, body fat percentage exactly. you're at. We're going to try and get that to speed yeah, up. Yeah, you could be you could be 40% body fat, and I don't want technically to cut you right away. I right. want to address your metabolism first, which would mean we're going to be focused on building strength, building muscle, and slowly increasing calories before we decide to get you down into that optimal place that you were talking about. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here and be sure to subscribe.